there. Uh, it's been another hot minute since we last seen, or if we haven't been seen before, uh, welcome. My name is Shelley, and today it's going to be a bit of a double one. Um, yeah, so it's May. And I never posted my April TBR, but I did film it. So, before I get into the rest of the video, I'm gonna enter that clip, like, now. So, uh, a lot of things happening in April. Um, Katie's visiting me, which I'm so excited about, uh, but that will also probably mean I might not read as much as I usually do, um, but who knows? We shall see when that day comes. Um, the Chaos Court, of which I am one of the co-hosts with, you know, Val and Katie. You probably already know Val and Katie by now, and if you don't, where have you been? Where have you been? Uh, <laughs> so, because it's also April, um, April being Val's birth month, uh, we, as the Chaos Court, is actually hosting a readathon, uh, or you know, the Spiceathon, because smutty books is Val's thing. Yeah, so spice, smut, there you go. Um, as far as the Spiceathon books, we have some prompts. You can check it in a Discord, basically. Um, as far as the books I want to read for the Spiceathon. I don't know yet. Uh, I cannot decide. So I'm kind of like winging that as a go and we shall see how that goes. Since I'm already speaking about the Chaos Court, you know, our book club. Have you heard of it before? Yes? No? Maybe? Well, we have a book club and every month we take turns in picking a book and this month it just happens to be a Sky World by Brendan Sanderson. Um, I will say I have already started this, um, yes, uh, but I haven't yet finished it. So this will be uh, probably among the first books I read this month, let's be honest, because I am, uh, I'm, I'm hooked, yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> continuing on with the book club, since I didn't finish February's book club pick uh, which was to sleep in a sea of stars and uh, yeah I'm gonna attempt to make some way in this one too um, we've already had our live show for this I did read most of it for that but I kind of want to finish it because that's just who I am that's just who I am uh, and also speaking of Val and the book club and the chaos court and everything um, Val started a read-along of the Priory of the Orange Tree um, I want to say it was February 1st uh, I'm, I've, I've not made much of it in this book um, yeah I'm on chapter 8 so, I mean, I'm pretty sure most people have finished this book by now, but I'm just taking my time, you know. It's, a, it's First of all, it's a very chunky book to get through, and the material in it is a lot. So, you know, I'm just taking my time with this, uh, but I would like to do... I would like to, like, make some progress with this too. So... That's that. And also since last year I did like a marathon, not really a math marathon, but I did re, um, I did reread all of Rick Ryden's books that I own anyway, um, in preparation for The Trials of Apollo, a series that is complete and uh, which I have not read yet. But I would very much like to. And seeing as these are YA and stuff, well, YA, middle grade, somewhere along those lines, they're easy reads. Well, I'm assuming they're easy reads because all of the other Rick Ryden books are easy reads. So I, I feel like I should be able to get through all of these books and also their little Percy Jackson and the Singer of Apollo novella short story I don't know it was one of those book day books so basically 
Um, finish Skyward, make some progress in Sleep in a Sea of Stars and Private of the Orange Tree, and then read all the Trials of the Polar Books. I mean, this looks like a lot, but it's actually not that much. Yeah. <laughs> I would, somewhere along the lines, also like to do one of the audiobooks. So every month this year I have listened to a reread of some series and I would like to do that again this month. We shall see. I don't know what yet. We'll see when that comes honestly. Um, it will be as much of a surprise to you as it will to me. Possibly. So, hopefully you just saw past me uh, mentioning a bunch of books that I wanted to read in April, which I may or may not have done because I don't remember what I said in that video because that was supposed to be posted a month ago. So why post it now in this little May TBR, really? Uh, it's just because, just because, um, I kind of just want to see where I add up, that's, that just sounds weird, uh, I, I, yeah, just because, so, um, before we get into the books I want to read in May, can we just talk about this, because, why am I looking so blonde, it's weird, and I don't know if I like it or not, so moving on, um, for May, it took me a while to, let's say, choose some books I want to read because I just didn't know. I just didn't know. So, I'm kind of, because April went a bit topsy-turvy, I did read a lot more than I thought I was going to do. Uh, I just didn't read maybe everything I wanted to for the spice -thon that we hosted as the Chaos Court. Um, so I decided that April and May would become just one big month, but I would do like separate uh, wrap-ups for each, each month as it were, which I guess is why I also enter the April TBR in this video. So, for May, <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, for May, um, we have another book club pick as the Chaos Court. So we uh, are going to read The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. So ideally, I would like to finish this book in May. Um, so, you know, I can participate in our June live show of May's pick. It makes sense. So apparently this was something along the lines of Game of Thrones meets Gladiator. So I guess we'll see. We we shall see, yeah. For some of the prompts for the Spicathon that was supposed to be just in April, but I'm just continuing on with it in May because for some reason I just want, want to do that. So I'm gonna. Um, so I have three more books that I want to fulfill some of those prompts with. So first off we have After Love, that is a glare, After Love by Tanya Byrne. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I then have In Case You Missed It by Lindsay Kelk. which also has a um, pink cover, which I do want to get, but I think it's just in America, I don't know. So, um, yeah, gonna need to figure that one out. But, I mean, I think it looks exactly the same, but it's pink, so I want it. That is all. And for the last book that I want to fill a prompt with, probably makes sense, uh, is Someone I Used to Know by Paige Tune. And uh, knowing Paige Tune's books, books from before, um, uh, this is 
probably gonna make me cry a lot, so that shall be fun. Uh, I do really like Paige Tunes books, and also, um, a bunch of contemporary books. I haven't read a lot of contemporary books in a while, and I kind of want to get back to it, because I have a lot of them. Yeah, I have a lot of them. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, that was the books I wanted to read in April that I hopefully read all of them. We shall see. And uh, the books I want to be picking up in May. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's doable, but then again I know myself and I tend to pick up books that is not on my TBR, which is why I used to not do TBRs, but we are challenging ourselves this year, so yeah, I'm doing TBRs, whether or not I finish all the books or not, it doesn't matter, it's a challenge. <laughs> So, yeah, I hope that was a short and sweet video, who knows, uh, but I shall see you all next time and hopefully it will not be in one to three weeks, it will hopefully be this week or next week, because I don't like not posting, it's, it's weird. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, watching my short TED talk for some reason I'm calling it that and uh, I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care, abba boy. <laughs>